Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for Will There Be Contact? I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my beautiful friends, let's jump right in. All right, so Virgo, we're going to look at the current situation. Then we're going to look at why are they not contacting? What do they want to say to you? Will there be contact advice? So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Virgo, let's take a look. So the first card coming out is this juggling of a decision here. Two of Pentacles energy. Remember, this is where your person stands with you in the current. So they're really making a heavy decision now. Okay, and what are pentacles? Money, family, children, long term. Feels like they want to stand up for themselves or something. And they're kind of examining things. Okay, will this be a balanced situation? Will I be able to bring things back into balance? Will there be any missteps? It's kind of a scared energy here, actually. Let's just take a look at what that Two of Pentacles is about. Show me the cards to see. Show me the cards I need to see. They are thinking about you. They're juggling this decision. They're thinking about it. Right. They're weighing some kind of knowledge here that they have about the situation. See? Okay. Okay, so there is a sense of loyalty, devotion. They have thoughts and plans of juggling this, maybe coming forward with friendship or through a friend here to accomplish or complete something. They're just not exactly sure how they're gonna come forward here. Okay, let's keep going. Show my cards I need to see, show my cards I need to see. Yeah, they don't know how they're gonna face you. And I hear dogs outside. Interesting, there's dogs here in the card. Okay, let's keep going. We see that there's this concern about some kind of infringing party or ex-partner. They find you very attractive. And again, another dog over here. Loyalty, devotion. Yep, they're just not sure. They, they feel like they need to be selective about the situation, let it grow. There's concerns about being used. They feel like you're a destiny for them. Like they want to make sure they're going in the right direction because they're feeling bad. They feel regretful. They feel like they've made some type of mistake when it came to an infringing party. You were friends with that ex. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, there seems to be this isolation and separation, really guarded energy. That's what I was feeling. Yep, anxiousness, that's the other thing I was feeling. Okay. This person in the current is like, they've had some kind of shock surprise something blew their mind about a situation okay what's this about we see there's some kind of communication letter message document paperwork which made them feel quite stuck now they're doing a lot of soul searching here trying to figure it all out 
when it comes to this friendship situation. So there's a lot of anxiety, they're guarded, they're lonely. They're feeling bad about this situation. They're doing a lot of soul searching. There's a lot of thinking, contemplating going on. It looks like they're, they may be trying to hang out with friends to try to get some kind of information to end this tough cycle, Ten of Swords energy. They do feel like you guys are spiritually connected. They see you as their main person. They're trying to stay hopeful. They see a lot of hopeful signs. But there's this manipulation, this player energy. So they're coming back forward, but they're overanalyzing this and their actions. They're, they're taking their time. They're taking it slow. We see this celebration. This They want to take you out or want to go somewhere with you. Let's go out. Let's have fun as friends. They do want you. They desire you. So it's like they want information. Like they're cautious, defensive. They're trying to figure out, okay, how can I come forward and do this in such a way where I can get the information that I want from Virgo? Mm, okay, so let's keep going. We see there's advice or a motherly energy around this. They're waiting for some kind of message here. They're reminiscing about the past when it comes to this relationship. They're not being honest with you about that or they're concerned about being honest with you about that. Okay, let's, let's bring it together so far. Let's make sure I put that. That goes there and this goes here. Text message, letter, documents. This one actually goes down here. Okay, this goes here. Okay, so I'm lonely, Virgo, and I'm feeling anxious about the situation. There's something about this friendship and I felt manipulated. And I want to communicate with you about my heartache and my sadness. When it came to this infringing party, I have a lot of self-doubts and worries and concerns. I've been deeply thinking about this, trying to stay hopeful about this friendship or more than one person around the situation when it comes to this relationship. And I wasn't telling you the truth about this family situation. When it comes to this wife, this commitment, and travel moving or changing direction, I deeply love you. Actually, let's make sure we put this here and here. I deeply love you. I wasn't being honest. I wanted to fight and argue with you about this situation when it came to this travel, this movement, this change. I really do want your attention, Virgo. When it comes to this friend and this travel, this movement, this change, this caused me great uncertainty. That's why this breakup happened. That's why I walked away. I'm heartache, I'm, I'm heartache, yeah. I have heartache and sadness, and I'm upset about this situation with you. I'm trying to get someone's help with this situation, where you were very romantic. You're really there for me. I'm trying to heal. I miss you. And I want to resolve this situation with you. So the single and available situation was because of manipulation of some kind of toxic relationship and this worry and anxiety about this letter message document paperwork and wanting to break up because of a friend caused some heartache and sadness in dealing with this unfinished business. So it looks like a friend. They're, they're in love with you, but it looks like a friend around this made them juggle a decision with you and caused this heartache and sadness, and now they're missing you. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. And let's find out 
Virgo. Let's find out what, why are they not contacting you considering this, that they love you and they miss you and all this, and they're juggling this decision on how to get your attention. Why are they not contacting you? Like something blew their mind, something shocked them about the situation. So why is Virgo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they're about, why is Virgo's love interest, the one they're of communication with, not contacting you at this time? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. They don't know how to take the risk to talk to you. Full card is talking about taking a risk, a leap of faith. And you can see here, it's like, there's a bird that's soaring in the sky here when there's only one bird. How do I talk to them about this? They don't have the confidence. You see, there's that shock and surprise here. They get the sense that they talk to you. They, they've lacked their confidence here. Say something has blown their mind. Something has changed the situation. And they're going to have to defend their position about this when it comes to accomplishing this situation because this house or home. So they got to defend their position against other people, maybe family members, friends, about coming forward and communicating with you again after the situation. So let's see what they want to say to you. What do they want to say to you? Let's see his my deck. What do they want to say to you? This stuff deck is going to be a little bit rough, so I apologize. What does Virgo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they went about, what does Virgo's love interest want to say to Virgo's romantically? I haven't said to them that they want to say to them. Show me cards in the tea. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, what do they want to say to you, Virgo? They want to hold on to you. They feel guilty. They feel bad about this stuck energy. They want to ask for what they need. They're thinking about some ideas and plans. They're wanting to get focused. They know they deserve this connection, but they need to clear some things, some issues here. They're praying about the situation they're trying to figure it out to get your attention. They know they have to spend more time at this. They're trying to get more organized in the short term. They need some more time to think about this. They know that they're very grateful for this connection and they wanna stay put. And they're gonna have faith that all will be well with you. So now let's find out about the communication part. Okay, so. Is there a huge potential for Virgo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about? Is there a huge potential for Virgo's love interest to contact Virgos in the next three months? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yes. Star card says yes. Okay, so let's get you some advice. What should Virgo do for their highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them when it comes to their love connection? What should they do? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, right now, just gain some support from other people. And it does say prepare for your beloved here. It says just stay in balance. You also have the freedom of making the choice to go off with someone else if you want to, Virgo. There will be a rebirth here. Try not to get triggered about this situation. But you can expand your horizons here. Follow your creativity, your passions. Take a leadership role here around this situation. You're going to get what you want, though, with this situation with this person. All right, my beautiful Virgos. I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You know I'm going to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. I do read my comments. And I will see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days. And I will see you guys soon.